<laughs> no, but it's, uh, the thing about this is like tomorrow morning is just gonna suck. It's like when I get home, I just don't go immediately to sleep. Maybe. All right. Plus, add more, ask more questions. So you don't like just keep. Yep. That's what I've been trying to do. All right. So, Paco in here. Uh, these players. Uh, Want to get a feel for each other, not really approaching, doing safe options in neutral. No, we got Freakazoid using this Meta Knight. Um, does he oh, have, does, does, tornado. does he have any big disadvantages when it comes to, to Paco's Cloud? Oh, he gets that uh, jab right there. Um, when it comes to Cloud? Ooh. Wow. Just think, a giant I think Meta Knight. Jump. Ooh. That was a zero to death right there. That was, that was a zero to death, yes. Um, I think Cloud can struggle in this matchup because he can get juggled a lot because he's kind of a heavyweight. That's some of the disadvantages of Cloud. I see what Paco can answer to that zero to death right there. So if, if you were Paco, what would you be really looking for right now? Ooh, I really don't know the matchup. Um, I'd probably wait until he does something like this dodge or something. Like, if you whiff something, like, I don't know. That's just standard stuff, though. Meta Knight is definitely a weird character. He gets it, a lot of combos. He, it, and Freakzoid is excellent at getting those those juggling combos, the, the Ooh, up airs, Paco the up wanted that read. Uh, Freakazoid come in the air with that, uh, what was that, his side beam? Yeah. Uh, I don't Took know what that called, but uh, he ended up dying because of that. He couldn't recover. So... Paco in here looking a bit more. Wow, oh, and there's that, that, there's the that, edge that right same there. combination. Yeah, Mennonite right there. Very scary. You can kill off the edge, like Bayo and all that. Just not as like ridiculous as Bayo. Uh, Do you think it would be smart for uh, Paco to, to change characters right now? It seemed like he was at a major disadvantage against that Mennonite. Yeah, it, it definitely seems like that, but uh, I know Paco. He's he, He'd definitely do his best with Cloud, so I don't believe. Oh, okay. To uh, do a character switch. But um, it could be a very different game if uh, Paco doesn't get in there and zero the death right there. Looks like he got a feel for his playstyle right in that middle of that match right there. Definitely. It, it does look like he just hit a really nice groove. We get that dash tech combos. Um, Freakazoid uh, kind of overextends, doesn't get anything out of that. Uh, Paco uh, punishing the approaches with that cross slash, very good. You get that up air strings, read the air dodge, another up air, your cloud the, the, stuff right here. It looks like uh, we got a down throw. Uh, Freakazoid is trying to set up the jab lock right there with the spike hit on the back air. Uh, looks like Paco's a little more that. comfortable on this stage. Oh yeah, for sure. This Us is definitely using good. the platforms a little more uh, to his advantage. Yeah, because if uh, Cloud underneath the Battlefield platform is very scary, he'll pop out, he'll up air, and it can be very hard to get back in. Uh, Freakazoid right here, got the up air string. Oh, and he did that up air string. Yeah, that away. He didn't get killed off the edge. Not quite far high enough. Dead even match right now, though. So this is definitely looking, interesting. Looking much more interesting than the first. Oh, there, there we again. go. And oh, he's that still didn't in quite it. kill, though. Doesn't look like that's guaranteed. Oh, he, oh, he whips wow. that and he gets punished with the limit cross slash. Good stuff coming up by Paco right there. Do you, he hides do you, think, do you right think the, the closer quarter, it seems like when they're under platforms, pa Paco's having a lot more success. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's like neutral can be hard when you're trying to get through the platforms. Oh, right there, Paco. He misses the grab, in the space right, and he eats a smash attack right to the face. You, that's what the thing you got to love about Cloud's Glad you grab. Perfect range. shield on that, on that tornado, though. Yeah, very good. Not doing a lot. Not doing any shield damage. Didn't, do, didn't do any shield damage. Yeah. Freaks are looking up to set up his dash attack combos. He drills into the stage. Oh, where's the? There's a lot of movement. It looks like movement. they're really they're feeling each other out right now. It is they, literally a dead even match up until right then. We got a lot of looks like a lot of mind games with yep. the approaching options and all that. Both, both players trying to set Paco something up. Paco gets says you can't you can't hide on that ledge. I'll, I'm gonna get that on that pivot grab. That was very clean. Uh, looking a bit scary for Freakazoid. Is it already Freakazoid see? is actually. He's he's trying the, the oh things God, that have been that have been so successful for him. 
but uh, he seems to be having a hard time with them now. You know, you do, why do you think that is? Uh, Paco definitely has a lot more experience with this game and um, how a lot of things are, so he knows a lot of um, what Meta Knight wants to go for, I believe. And now Paco coming back with an air string that actually we've mostly, he mostly wanted, been seeing. He wanted to read that shield drop, and he didn't get that, so that's not going to be that stock yet. Looking very scary for Freak Desert right now. Oh, he's looking Paco, for it. There, oh, going there's, for the there it is. This is the up smash for get set down smash. He definitely looked like a different game. He from swung him. for that up smash twice, right, twice right there. Yeah. Up smash can be pretty safe when you're playing with a uh, clock. Uh, the thing is, like, I'll do it at the edge, and that, like, when they're on the edge of up smashing, it's never guaranteed, and it's just a better option. <laughs> So we have one more, it's one and one. Yep. We have one we're, more between Paco and Freezoid. Are we possibly going to see a character switch coming up here? What do you think? I, I actually don't think so. It looks like Paco I think, is complimenting. No. See, I, I think that uh, they're both going to gonna stick with their bread and butters and Could be that just try to impose their will with the characters that they're used to. Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah. So, there's a delay here. Oh, and there they go. I have a feeling uh, Paco was thinking about it, but yeah. he, uh, Cam! Oh, he made it that break anyways. Yep. Games like these can be very mentally tiring, that's for sure. Especially that last match that we watched, that was pretty... Uh, there, was, there was a moment there where neither of them really... It was either they were both playing good defense or neither or both of them were having a hard time with their offense. So. Oh, yeah. And now there's a lot of airspace above this stage. Um, do you Definitely think that, that puts Paco back at a disadvantage? Uh, yeah. I think that uh, FD is going to put him at an advantage. Oh, he gets that jab lock right there, and he's going to get a dash attack, stand up to his back air. That's going to be a great just coming put, out. Yep. He DI's out of that, down smashes, get punished for that right there. He's already getting some good early damage in there. Uh, but for this stage, uh, for sure, it's uh, kind of in both of their favors because Meta Knight can go a lot more uh, against Cloud in the neutral, and Cloud can't juggle him through the platforms. But Meta Knight's not going to be able to kill up high unless he gets a good conversion in uh, the middle of the screen. But that seems to be what Freakzoid is, is really good at, is getting those those string conversions way up high. Definitely going to be a lot more difficult for him having the platforms. That is true. Paco, Paco uh, just, uh, making up that early damage he took right He's there. Kind of Using using the airspace to, to he loses force. limit. That doesn't nice. matter. That up air that's gonna clean up that, the stock yep. right here. Let's see Freakazoid's answer to that right there. Freakazoid looking like he really wants that jab lock with that spike of the back air. It seems like he's trying to go back to what what makes him successful, and he's having a hard time with it right now. Oh yeah, looks like Paco knows about his tricks. <laughs> he does. He he is definitely adapted, and and looks like he's figured him out quite a bit. <laughs> Alright, so Paco, he wants to hold on to this stock, hold on to this limit. Yeah, he's he's a having a really great advantage. He's, he, he's trying to keep him out from getting onto the stage. Doing kind of a good job about that. Grabbing him when he lands. Yep. Looking scary those, for those, right here. He, he, those I, ranged attacks. I think he faked a trump right there to see his response and punish. Or maybe he went for a trump. It's hard to tell. He goes for that uh, limit cross slash off of the. Oh, and there we go with it. That's going to be it right, right there. Definitely. Excellent. Good game. Excellent. Excellent. That was that was well played. By Paco. Good one. Is it? Paco says that that is only the second Meta Knight he's ever played. So uh, 